And we are back. <clears throat> In the following weeks. I got my water and I'm ready to roll. It was hard to tell how much the Empire situation was shifting, but one thing was certain. Changes were happening. <sighs> With the death of their ringleaders, the Imperial Liberation Front's campaign of terror was finally over. And in recognition of our actions in Ruhr and Echorelia Fortress, all of us in Class 7 were invited to Malflame Palace. There, we were granted the honor of an audience with His Majesty the Emperor, Eugen III, along with Empress Priscilla, the mother of Princess Alphen and Crown Prince Cedric. But no sooner had we been thanked than we came face to face with the leaders of the factions that divided the nation. The heads of the four great houses who rule their vast provinces with absolute authority, and the Chancellor and his close ally, Governor Regnitz, who brought reforms to Heimdall and expanded the railways. Both sides were quick to offer us words of praise, but just as quickly turned to criticize each other's role in the crisis. Eventually, His Majesty was forced to step in and rebuke both sides, clearly disgusted by their behavior. As it stood, the terrorists' defeat made it difficult for their supposed supporters in the noble faction to act openly, while Crossbell's push for independence was causing enough of a stir over there to keep the reformists busy. With both sides tied up, it looked like the Empire was in for a long overdue respite from its perpetual conflict. We'd finally gotten all the details for our concert performance worked out, and Elliot announced that we'd be doing two songs, a duet between Machias and Eusis, and a solo by Emma. To no one's surprise, all three of them were quick to raise objections. But after Crow and Elliot explained their choices, and how their master plan would win over the audience, the rest of the class was totally on board, leaving our new vocalists to resign themselves to the inevitable. Unfortunately, with the good times came some sad news as well. It turned out that Marquis Rogner was furious at Angelica for her part in what we did at the mine. She was forced to leave the academy. Contrary to the official statement, her withdrawal was to be permanent. Before she left, she asked me if I'd look after the Orbal bike for her. At first, I didn't want to. It felt like I'd be accepting that she'd be gone. But after thinking it over, I finally agreed. <clears throat> With so much going on, we decided to take Prince Oliver up on his proposal of a brief vacation north in Ymir. It proved to be quite an eventful trip. And it really drove home just how much we'd come to mean to each other. I'd tell you all about it, but we'd be here for hours. Maybe another time. Anyway. Festival prep, day one. <clears throat> Could I have your attention, please? It's another great day. Perfect weather to start bringing all your great festival ideas to life. Some of you have been preparing since last month, and some even longer. I know you're all itching to get started. So without further ado, I hereby declare the first day of festival preparation begun. Time to start setting up? We have yeah. today and tomorrow. But try not to leave any work until tomorrow night unless you really have to. All right, everyone. Let's do this and stay safe out there. Happy time, festival fun time. Terrorists are gone. <sighs> but Angelica gone too. So let's just pour our all into our school festival, try and ease some of the pain we've experienced through that last field study, shall we? I want to thank you all for the effort you've put in over these last two weeks, everyone. 
<laughs> well, at least things are really coming together now. <clears throat> uh, it's been an exhausting two weeks, though. <clears throat> you said it. I don't think I realized how much work this would involve. Elliot's a merciless taskmaster when it comes to music. <laughs> it's like he unleashes the beast within. I'm sorry. I just really want this performance to be the best that it can be. <laughs> don't worry about it. Given the short time we've had to repair, I sure to think what our band would have would sound like without your guidance. Yeah, I'm sure it'll sound great. <laughs> well, the songs are coming together quite nicely, I admit. We aren't seriously going to do that, are we? Come on, give it up already. <laughs> Emma's song is really sounding great. Agreed, I'm sure you'll be quite the sight on stage once you're in your outfit. The boys will be all under your spell. You guys, that's not the kind of pressure I need right now. I have to say, I'm pleasantly surprised at Machias and Yusus. Who knew they'd work so perfectly together? And to think, at the outset I doubted they had it in them to actually cooperate. Yep, and now look at them, crooning together in perfect harmony. But that's the worst part. Speak for yourself, I've never felt so humiliated in my life. <clears throat> it sounds like you're all having a gosh darn good time. I almost hate to interrupt. Hey, Sarah. Just wanted to let you know that the principal's giving you permission to use the old schoolhouse. You're all free to use it for rehearsal or whatever you need all the way through to the end of tomorrow. Really? <sighs> That's a weight off our shoulders. There's only so much of our performance we can practice in the music room's limited space. Yeah, and Class 1's been hogging the auditorium all to themselves. Well, considering they're performing an operetta, I'm not sure where else they could practice. The first floor of the old schoolhouse should, make, should be a fine makeshift auditorium as far as our practice needs to go. <clears throat> it's even got that stage area. What more can we ask for? Sounds like a great solution to me. Though every time I step through those doors, I'm always reminded of our first day of school. Hmm, the first of many deceptions by a certain instructor. I'm afraid the statute of limitations has expired on that one. You know, a little bird told me two people who might, in, who might be in this room right now had a rather intimate experience that day. Ooh, ooh, tell me! Well, it's nothing worth mentioning. How did he find out about that anyway? He's Crow. <laughs> well, shall we go our separate ways for today then? Yeah, our costumes should be coming in this evening, so I think we're fine spending the day helping with the setup and decorations. Might as well pitch in while we can. I'm guessing tomorrow's schedule just has rehearsal written in every blank. True, it seems right now to... It only seems right to spend today helping out our club members. Guess we oughta. Were you planning on helping Toll with any last minute student council stuff, Reen? Yeah, the student council's been totally swamped these last few days, so I figured I'd lend them a hand. I was thinking of looking in on the old schoolhouse while I was out making the rounds, too. That'd be helpful. Even though we'll just be using the first floor, we should make sure nothing is shifted around in there. If you're going to make a sweep of the place, just ring me on my Arcus. I'd be happy to tag along. Okay, thanks. Sounds like you all got a lot on your plates. All I can say is, good luck. I'll be patrolling the campus, so just let me know if anything happens. I'll give you guys a call when the costumes come in. I really want to at least try those on today, just to make sure they all fit. Yeah, uh -huh, Crow? Yeah. If you wouldn't mind taking care of this stuff for me, I'd really appreciate it. No problem. Glad to help out. <clears throat> a number of students have yet to collect their permission slips to serve food and drinks at the festival. Given that it's imperative that everyone doing so has a slip, I need them delivered today. For more details, speak to me in the infirmary. We're doing a special feature here at Radio Trista on the Academy Festival, but we're running a little short on comments. Anyone want to collect the ones we need for me? For more specifics, come see me in Radio Trista building. Our class has received a package that clearly wasn't meant for us. We want to get it to whichever class ordered it, but we're too swamped with our preparation to ask around. Could someone please deliver it for us? We'll be outside class two, second year classroom, preparing for the festival. Please come see us if you can. <laughs> I figured they'd all be related to the festival in some way. The shops and Trista do seem pretty keen on helping out, though. That's nice of them. Yeah, they do every year. The radio station is even doing a little something for us, too. All right, I'll see what I can do to keep the ball rolling in town, then. Great, that'd be a big help. Oh, 
But remember not to neglect your concert practice, okay? Crow's been telling me about it. It sounds like you guys are really pulling out all the stops. That's the idea, yeah, but we haven't started the group rehearsals yet. Most of us have family coming in to watch, though, so for better or worse, we're going to give it our, all we've got. By the way, do you think Angelica will be able to make it? Well, sorry, I guess it's not looking too hopeful, huh? I just don't know. I've tried calling the Marquis's household, but they won't even let me talk to her. But still, this is Angie. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Don't worry, Angie would never break a promise. Besides, you guys are all here. Crow's here, George is here. I'm sure she'll be here, too. That's why we need to make this festival a big success. I want Angie to forget the bad times for a little while and have fun. And I know your concert will be a part of that, too. When you put it like that, I want to do whatever I can to make it a good time for her. Besides, as your follow-up act, we'd look bad if it if they weren't cheering just as loud for us. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you guys have in store. Toa! Sorry to butt in, but it looks like some of the materials we ordered are going to get here late. If we don't do something, it's going to throw a hitch into our preparations. Okay, I'll take another look at the schedule and see if we can rearrange things a bit. Sorry, Reen, but it looks like duty calls. Good luck preparing for your concert. Thanks. Well, no sense of just standing around here. We've got a lot to do in less time than I'd like to do it. Our outfits are going to show up this evening, too. I'll have to try and get as much I can, as much as I can, finished up before then. Okay, let's get going. No bonding points, not today. Um, so huh? Interesting. <clears throat> Intriguing, but also kind of eh. <laughs> okay, so what I even put here for her? Okay. <clears throat> Well, there's one thing we absolutely must be doing. I just gotta figure out where he's at. Certainly, I dropped it somewhere around here. Is something the matter? Nothing. Nothing, I say. <clears throat> for that matter, what are you doing here when you have preparations to make for the festival? Get back to work. Normally, I would, but you look as though you have something on your mind. Are you sure I can't be of assistance? This is a personal matter, and you butting into my private affairs would do more harm than good. Though, since you're here, it couldn't hurt to ask. Have you seen a notebook around this area by any chance? It would have a black leather cover. I don't believe I've seen anything like that. I'd be happy to help you look, though. That is quite unnecessary, but if you are inspired to assist me, you may do so by forgetting that this conversation ever took place. Understood. This missing notebook has even more on edge than usual. I probably shouldn't talk to him. That said, I'm sure he'd be happy if I found that notebook. I'll need some clues before I can do that, though. Hmm, I must have dropped it while making my rounds. Ah, the rooftop. It's the only place that makes sense. Hmm, but then it should be around here. Wait, so we seriously dropped it off the roof? Maybe I could figure out where it might be if I head up there. Excuse me, mind if I ask you a question? I believe Vice Principal Heinrich was up here just a while ago. Reef gained a brief run Reef gave Reen gave a brief rundown of the situation. I see, that would make sense. Yeah, he was up here. Came along to check up on how everything was going. He was using his notebook as a sort of checklist for all of our arrangements. Come to think of it, I wouldn't be surprised if his notebook was full of info on everyone's festival plans. Finding it should be a top priority. Do you remember where he was standing at the time? Just about there, right where you can get a good look at the courtyard. Oh, but he left right after that. He overheard some guys messing around over near the field, so he moved over there to yell at them a little better. 
I think he even leaned over the railing a bit for that one, which means it probably didn't fall into the courtyard. Thanks, that narrows things down a bit. No worries, best of luck. Okay. Then we go over here, talk to uh, this lass here. Excuse me, I ask you something. Oh my goodness, is something wrong? Do you need some help? Uh, not exactly. <clears throat> Reen briefly explained the situation. Oh, you're looking for a notebook? Hmm, now that I think about it, I believe I heard some first year boys talking about something they found. That might be what you're looking for. <laughs> Fantastic. That's my next stop then. This might be over even faster than I thought. Did you see where they went? I believe I heard them say something were going someplace quiet so they could get a better look at it. I'm sorry, I wish I could be more specific. Not at all. That's a great lead as is. Somewhere quiet, huh? I think I know where they are. No time to waste. I better get going. <clears throat> now this is a good find. What do you think about this photo, Rex? Oh man, that's awesome. It's definitely an amateur shot, but it captures the energy of a live performance. It's almost too good. I wonder who it belongs to, though. The notebook's covered in some pretty expensive-looking leather, so maybe it's one of the nobles? Excuse me, guys. You found that notebook somewhere, right? Mind if I take a look at it? Oh, crap. Guess that answers our question about the owner. Ah, oh, man. Oh, well, here you go. Looks like it matches the description, which means it belongs to Vice Principal Heinrich. Oh, I wanted to have a better look at her, too. I know, right? I've never seen her before, but damn! Oh, well, it's probably for the best it gets returned to its owner. Guy seems pretty devoted to her, too. If we tried to hold on to it, things might get ugly. Yeah. What are they talking about? Sorry for the trouble. Make sure it gets back to the right hands. Let him know he's got our seal of approval, all right? Er, uh, sure. What in the world is written here? I kind of want to check. No, that'd be a bad idea. I should straight back and return it to the vice principal. Even if it isn't his, I can just turn it in at reception. Hey. Don't tell me you're a fan, too. Nice. She isn't that well known in the Empire, but I guess you Class 7 types are pretty worldly. Uh, okay, now I'm really curious about what's in here. No. Let me read the notebook. Oh, you again. I'm busy. A concept you clearly seem not to have familiarized yourself with. State your business without delay. I found a black leather notebook and thought it might be yours. Reed handed over the black leather notebook. This is indeed my notebook. <laughs> you, you wouldn't have happened to look inside it, would you? No, of course not. Well, I didn't, at least. <laughs> of course. How could I have suspected such privacy-infringing behavior from a student of our esteemed academy? Oh, you dropped a picture. Is this? Wow. I guess the weird vibe I was picking up had some merit. Um, it seems to be a picture of some dancer wearing a remarkably skimpy outfit. Some dancer? You call one of the greatest artists of our time some dancer? Is it Rishia? Foolishness. Utter foolishness. It's either Rishia or the blonde chick from our from Arkenshield. She is a member of Crossbell's highly esteemed theater troupe, Arkenshield. To call her a mere dancer is churlish. I've never even heard of them. They are known for their magnificent and passionate performances, replete with acrobatic feats that would blow your mind. Arkenshield represents true art, capturing the hearts and eyes of those blessed enough to bear them witness. My eyes were closed to their glory until I was invited to see one of their performances in Crossbell. Their brilliance is renowned across the continent, rivaling even the acclaim this nation's operas receive. There is no shame in admiring Rishia Mao's many charms. On the contrary, those who don't should hang their heads in shame. Her talent is such that she was cast in a leading role almost immediately after her debut. Furthermore, she's earned everything she has through hard work and dedication. Is it any wonder why we love her so? Tragically, the recent terrorist attack at Crosswell has impacted Arkin Shale just as it would any other citizen. But I believe in them. No setback is too great to even stop them from soaring to even greater levels of excellence. The voices of the fans shall be their support as they continue their climb. We shall support Rishia Mao. 
Okay there, Heinrich. Calm down. <laughs> wow, that was the last thing I ever expected to hear from him. Well then, allow me to thank you for returning my notebook to me. That said, you are to steal your memories of this discussion away in the deepest reaches of your mind, never to reemerge. Yes, sir. This is not a bribe, understood? It is a token to ensure that you put every last ounce of effort into serving the Academy Festival. Given that Class 7 is trailing behind the other classes, I hope that this acts as an appropriate motivator. I fully expect you to prepare with the highest level of diligence so that you do not bring shame upon this Academy. Yes, sir. We'll be sure to meet your expectations. Okay. Heinrich. Okay. We have... A uh, mail mix up. Class 2, second year classroom. Ah, well, I guess we'll just go to Radio Trista first. Actually... Here you go, that'll run you at 27,800 Mira. House, no repeat customer discounts in your store, are there? This bill better include the information, too. Of course it does. Don't bite my head off. Sounds like the Red Constellation is still kicking back in Crossbell. It's anyone's guess as to where, though. I can't believe they're still hanging around there after a terrorist attack on that scale. Could you pass that info along to Tobol for me? Sounds like they're discussing the recent terrorist attack in Crossbow. I guess Instructor Sarah is just distressed about everything going on as we are. It's like the world's just falling apart. Air cannon. Damn. Powerful. Okay. Let's go to Radio Trista. Sorry to keep you waiting, Michael. Oh, there you are. I'm just glad you could make it at all. Our special tonight, but some people still haven't submitted what they want us to say during it. I mean, we could go ahead without them, but it'd feel kind of unfair if we did. <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> I imagine it probably just slipped their minds considering how much everyone has to do right now. But are you taking the time to give everyone's events coverage? But you are taking the time to give everyone's events coverage, so I'm sorry that they put you through this. Oh, don't sweat it. The festival gives us some good material every year. You won't see me complaining that the students are making it better. The Academy's been getting lots of coverage ever since what happened last month, too. Ah, uh, sorry. We don't have time to shoot the breeze about that. So, you got time to get this done? I do, I do. You bet. You'll be broadcasting tonight, so let's get this done as quickly as possible. You're the, you are the man. <clears throat> I'm still waiting on replies from Class 1 and Class 5 and the Occult Research Society. I don't know where the people in charge of them are, but you probably will since you're all from the same Academy. Go get those comments. Leave it to me. Class 1 should still be rehearsing their operetta, so I'm sure I'll find that's where I'll find everyone. Class 5's Mishy Panic is being set up in the gymnasium, which leaves the Court Research Society. I guess I'll head to their club room. Right then, let's get going. <clears throat> Alright, so... Auditorium is oh the auditorium is the goddamn auditorium. Damn, Ferris, looking good, looking good. Excuse me, can I have a moment? 
What are you doing here? This is class one's practice area. Did you see a sign that said class seven interlopers welcome? Or perhaps please interrupt interrupt us? No? Then move along. I'm only here to ask about class one's comment for the radio special on the Academy Festival tonight. You still haven't submitted one. Oh, right. Did no one submit a comment for our class? I certainly haven't. Likewise, we've been so focused on practicing that it slipped our minds. <laughs> Listen well, then. Class 1 will be performing an operetta set in the Middle Ages known as the Coronation of Garuda. It is the dramatic tale of Garuda, a most noble lady favored by the Emperor himself as she struggles against her own destiny. The leading roles will be played to perfection by Patrick High Arms and myself, Ferris Florald. And op our operetta won't just be captivating, but also educational. We even consulted an expert to ensure our script's accuracy. I implore those of you listening not to miss out on our fabulous performance, especially in order to watch other... Especially in order to watch other lesser events performed by other lesser classes, the very same day, we will not be topped. I think that should do for now. Thanks. She really is competitive. Oh, big Mishy panic. Woo. <clears throat> Come on, work. I command you to work. Mishy, why have you forsaken us? Uh, is everything okay over here? Hey, watch out. This is Class 7's... Hey, watch out. This Class 7 Joker's here to get the dirt on us. What, you think this is some sort of show? Get out of here before I make you get out of here. Bro, I will stomp you into the dirt. Simmer down, boys. Sorry about that. Truth is, the machine we're using isn't really working like it should. So we're all a little on edge. We sent someone off to get George, though. Our, so our technical woes should be over before too long. So what's your story? Do you have a reason for coming, or are you actually spying on us? It's the former, I assure you. I hate to ask when you're so busy, but it's about the festival feature on the radio tonight. Class 5 still hasn't provided the station with a comment, so I was hoping that someone could say something. Oh, Adios, it's Monk. How could that radio freak have forgotten that? Yeah, you're going to have to go ask him. What the hell, man? He seemed so excited when he told us he'd take care of it. What could he even be doing right now? So instead of wanting you coming up with a comment on the fly, I need to find Monk. Any idea where he might be at the moment? I don't think any of us have seen him since yesterday, actually. Whatever he's doing right now better be pretty important if he thinks he can just ditch us at a time like this. You sure he's not just sleeping in? Anyway, none of us have got time to come up with some fancy radio comment. You gotta go straight to Monk for that. Got it. I'll go look for him at the lower class door. Hopefully I can actually find him. Hopefully I can actually find him. To the door! Oh, he's a lower class pleb. Monk! You're not Monk. I can't see Monk anywhere on the first floor. Let's ask someone where he is. Excuse me, do you have a second? Rena asked the girl if she had seen Monk lately. Oh, not today, I don't think. Do you need him for something? Yeah, I need his comment for tonight's radio show. I guess I'll head to his room and just hope he's there. There's no need for that. Go, good morning, Monk. You sleepy son of a gun. Sorry for the wait, Reen. I've just finished writing up our comment for the radio show. Just now? That's right, this comment is the fruit of two days of backbreaking non-stop labor. And when I say non-stop, I mean without so much as a wink of sleep. <laughs> That's not good, Monk, my boy. The bags under his eyes are pretty intense, even for him. He's such a radio geek. <laughs> Mishy won't be on the show. <laughs> Misty won't be on the show, but a submission's a submission. Only the very best is good enough. I can tell you that you're curious, so let me read it to you. Mishy, the international sensation, finally makes his Thor's Military Academy debut. But oh no, trouble is afoot. Mishy and Machette are being attacked by evil Mishy, and the only way to save them is to smack, smash, and mash away. So come along to Class 5's Mishy Panic and save Mishy and Machette from their terrible fate. Mishy Panic, the only place where smacking something so cute can be so refreshing. And that's that. Make sure they don't leave out a single word. I'll be listening. Uh, sure. Okay, then, Mr. Mishy and Miss Mishy. All right, let me uh, let me get your comment, occult club lady, lady of the occult, our lady of the crazy, our lady of the spoopy. Hello, do you need something from me? That I do. I'm collecting comments about each of the festival's events for a radio broadcast, focusing on them. I had no idea the Occult Research Society was actually doing something for the festival, though. I certainly am. <laughs> oh, are you curious? Can I just have a simple answer, please? Very well, I suppose I can tell you. 
I'll be turning this room into a fortune telling house during the festival. How accurate will the fortunes I tell be? <laughs> That's for you to find out for yourself. I guess I should take that as her comment. Thanks. Oh, and as for that man from the radio station who sent you, I see a great deal of hardship in his future. <laughs> well, gee, I'd hate to get in the way of your preparations, so I'd better get going now. That's the last of the comments I needed. I should go and give these to Michael. I just hope he'll be okay. Michael! Michael! <laughs> You're in for some hard times, Michael, my boy. <clears throat> Yo, how did it go? Perfectly. I've got all three comments right here. Reen relayed the comments to Michael. Mmm, good stuff. They're good. Generally short comments, so I'm pretty sure they'll get some great reactions from our guests. Oh, this is going to be a fantastic show. Before you run off, take some of these. I'm really glad you helped me out here. Awesome, thanks. Good luck with tonight's show. Right back at you. Let's do what we got to do to make this one hell of a festival. <laughs> that sounds like a plan. Okay, what is my time at? It is time to cut the video and start one anew. So until next time, everybody, we will do more festival prep. Stay cool.